Uh, Chris, you've been talking about a fight with Holly Holm. Obviously, that's what you want when it comes to the UFC right now. Uh, is there anything solid, any negotiations in place? How, uh, how far along is that process of fighting Holly? You know, this is start like with the fans. The fans would like to watch this fight. I think it would be a great fight for the fans and the excited fight because Holly Holm is a great strike and I like to strike. And then for sure this fight somebody else is going to be KO. And I think it's an exciting fight, but I have nothing serious, you know. I, I, just, I just told you Dana White I would like to make this fight. I think it would be cool. But I know I know I respect Holly too. It's nothing like disrespect. I will call her out. I want to fight her. No, I think it's a great fight for the fans. And it should because she's already fought 145. Because this, I just, you know, give the idea. But you know, it doesn't matter who I'm gonna fight next. I just keep training. But I'm going to Thailand. I want to start my camp. If you're gonna fight her, I'm gonna start my camp too. And, and but I'll be ready for who's gonna be fight my next. You talked a little bit about this before. You said you like her striking. And but what do you think are her weaknesses and things that you saw, the holes that you saw in her game that you can explore? Uh, you know, I watched her. I was in New York when she fought the Renime. I think she is very good strike, but it's MMA. You know, you can explore a lot of things. You can go take down. You can go the, the grappling. And then I think Holly, she's she's try take down Renime. She's I think for she beat her, she's have to do that, and she's cannot do. You know, and then she's keep doing, and the girl keep defense take downs, and then she's just fox knees, no fox other thing in stand up. Uh, you know, it's MMA. It's MMA. I think I have a lot of games to show all my fans. Maybe this fight I can show a little bit my grappling with her. And we don't know. Or maybe I can be stand-up. You know, I believe the, all my games in grappling and stand in strike strike game is good. But, you know, I, I don't know. But let's see. It's a big fight, exciting fight. Since you talked a little bit about that, I think when we talk about Cyborg, everybody just really focuses on your striking and on your power. Uh, but you did show a little bit more of that with Tanya, and you talk about how actually well-rounded you are. Do you think that people maybe underestimate other aspects of your game that perhaps you just didn't really have a chance to show yet? You know, in my last fight, I really try show a little bit about my game. You know, I think I think I'm getting better, like experience, uh, mature, like uh, the athlete. I think my last fight, I very relaxed. Uh, I I say I'm gonna I, I want, I'm gonna win the fight, but. I would like to show like clean, clean punches, clean kicks, clean, like uh, doing no crazy, you know, before I was crazy, before I was cool just because power and crazy, like throw 100 punches and just touch 30. But now, you know, I think, I think you fight more smart, like you punch where you want to punch and relax a little bit. I think, I think it's getting worse for my opponents, I think, because I'm thinking more. And, and you know, always I try, I try to keep training, you know, Keep training, getting better at my grappling too. I never had the opportunity to grab, uh, compete in brown belt, but just purple. But but you know my game getting better. I'm start training with Cobrinha too. I'm but I'm in brown belt for Galvão. So I have you know people around me and training for me. You know I had the jitsu, you know, and then but I never had the opportunity to show my fans. But for sure one day maybe my next fight. Some people say that Holly Holm doesn't deserve a title shot against you because she lost three in a row and then her, her last win was, was against Beth Correa and, and one said, if I what, why are you ask, what's, what's our, your, your, your response to that? You know, uh, when she fought first time, I already, I, she's already don't deserve to fight for the belt. When she's fight for the, the Randyman, I don't think she, both don't think deserve to fight for the belt because Randyman don't fight 145 a long time. Like the last time, I think strike force a long time ago. And then Holly, she came like three lost in the row for fight to the belt. I never said that. And then I don't think this fight already, you know, for the belt. But, you know, I talk about her because I think she's the biggest girl in 135. And then she fought already in 145. And maybe this fight, you know, could happen. But I think I know the fans say she's coming from the loose. And then she went, she won, won the belt, Beth Correa. But you know, I, I think it'd be a great fight for the fans, you know, but of course then you have to follow the high hunking, Sue be the who be the next fight on one forty five, supposed to be the Megan Anderson and you have to see if this fight can happen. But you know, I never choose my opponent, I mean ready for who's gonna fight me. Do you think Holly Holm would be your toughest opponent in the striking area? Uh, I think it's gonna be a good challenge for me, you know. I think it'd be she's southpaw, different, you know, she's she's you know, fight different kick more. I think it would be a great challenge for me and then challenge myself and you know, we already knew this fight can happen now or the later. 
you know, we are already prepared for this, for this fight. And I think it'll be a great challenge for me, yes. Her coach this week said that Holly Holmes style, her, her, her striking, she, she, she has the footwork and speeds to pick you apart in the striking area and stop you. What are your thoughts on, on his comments and do you think that uh, her, her striking may be too much for you? You know, do you know what? she's never KO one girl about punch. You know, she is, her last fight is Beth Correa, three rounds, maybe six punch, the free have to stop the fight, the girls. I don't know what plan, but let's start fighting. And then, I don't think she's very aggressive. I don't think he, she's going to be really dangerous. I think it will be, it will be exciting fight because I like to fight. And uh, of course, I'm going to, I'm going to find her and she's going to run in the ring, but I'm going to find her. And, you know, she's already run three times. I supposed to fight her in Curitiba. And then I agree fight her 140. And then she's no, don't want to fight. And then I said fight in Brasilia. And then she say she can fight me if I make 138, no 140. And then after this fight, when Meg Anderson pulled out the fight, I said I would like to fight Holly. And then, then she's no, and she's supposed to fight Beth Correa too. But she's three times we run about this fight, you know. And then it's easy when the coach says something, you know. I'm here to say something. It's better she, she's safe for herself, no, her coach say anything. And if she's believed that, and her coach believed that, maybe her coach believed, but she not believe that. If she's believed that, she's already accepted the fight. But she, if she's believed that and her coach believed that, let's do this fight. You know, let's do this fight. Why you wait for? You're saying that she t she turned this down uh, a fight against you three times. Are you are you confident that that she's finally gonna upset it? Uh, I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know, I think I think like this. She's waiting, see who's gonna win about Amanda and then Valentina, and. I don't think I, th I don't think the buffs is a big good good fight for her. Uh, I think she is most money who, sh who she what she's gonna get it. Like she is, I, don't, sh I think she's already older. Like I don't know. I think each money she's gonna make more each fight. She's gonna accept the fight. I think he, of course I think she's wanted the belt 135. But I think the both girls are not good fight for her too. I'm not good fight for her too. I think she's gonna see put in the balance who is gonna be better for her, like the amount of money. And she's gonna make the fight, and or maybe she's want to try to help, get the belt 135 and fight me for try get the second belt. You know, it's a I don't know have the, the two two options. You did say you're gonna go into camp regardless and just gonna prepare for that date. If are you that confident that you're going to manage to fight there? If it's not Holly, who could it be? Maybe Megan? Do you have that backup plan already? Uh, yeah, maybe can it be Megan Anderson, you know, but uh, Megan have to fix her problems and for it can ha fight to happen. And, but can be her too, you know, but I'm, I'm going to Thailand for make Fox for, you know, train South Pole and get it started in the camp. And then people say maybe Cats and Gun, Cats and Gun is South Pole too. Então so we start the game, started the plan already for both girl. And then if it change, if we we change the game, but we already started the camp for that fight. So you started the plan for Cat because on Twitter you you kind of um, uh, I don't think yeah you kind of threw a jab there that you hadn't won in a while that you wasn't really uh, worthy of that shot right now. This what? How do you actually feel? Do you feel like if she's up for it, that that fight could happen? Uh, the, I think I think she's need to do more fights before this fight. I think her last win 2014. You know how's you gonna fight for the belt if you last win 2014? And they have to follow the you know the rankings to who ready for the fight. And the be who be ready for the fight is Meg Anderson. If you're gonna see like right and. You know, Kat, Sammy, as she said, she cannot fight me in this year, you know, issues in doctor, she's have to fight next year. If this fight happens, for sure she's supposed to fight before. I don't think she's no deserved fight for the belt. And, but let's see, I think Megan says, the, you know, can be, the, you know, she's deserve more, but we, we don't know who's going to be, if she should be ready for next fight. We're here talking about uh, Holly Holmes, Zingano, or Megan Anderson. We're not talking about the random me. How easy was it to, to move on from her and, and forget her? I know. The first thing, I don't think she's, she's, the, she's deserved to fight for the Bell 145 because she's not fight before long time, 135, 145. And I don't see her like a champ. I think they make the fight, they give the belt, like they give the medal when you compete jiu-jitsu. And, 
And you, if you see that, if she's a real champ, she's not going to run and you're going to fight. Like, you, you have to defend your title, you're the champ. You know, you cannot choose who you're going to fight. Ah, yeah, this fight is good for me, okay, I'm going to fight. If you think like that, you're never going to be champ. She's not gonna be, gonna, never going to be champ on 35, think like that. She's going to run away. And, yeah, this makes me piss me off because, like, like I, I, in my gym, I always uh, I train like you never have to choose your opponent and have to be prepared for anything happen and lose when it's consequence. And then, but you know, fighters have different mentally. Of some did, fighters. She did bring up the doping thing, and and it's been a really long time since that that, that happened. Your latest uh, issue with Usada was cleared out. You were cleared of any wrongdoing. How does it bother you that people keep bringing that up and using that as an excuse? You know. Like insurance, like you make the insurance and about dop think it's insurance for them. And then run the start this for no fight me, say that, and then people, everybody say that. But you know, the fans is smart, the fans know. You know, I, I make the same test everybody do, it's Yuzada, I, I do the same thing. If you call me I'm a cheater, man, you think Yuzada cheater, you think them doing wrong, them jobs. Because you, if you think I'm a cheater, because I'm doing the same exam everybody, and I'm the first athlete Sign with Usada one year before sign, uh, sign uh, fight with FC. When I fought in, in Curitiba, I was already work with Usada one year f when I fought in Victor. I fought girls don't have Usada test in Victor, and then and then I did this for proof I'm a clean athlete. I did a mistake. Everybody do mistake, but everybody like to judge you. And I think she's using insurance for not fight me. She don't have excuses. First about doping, after the hand, after the doctor, after the family. I don't know. She's a, you know any any day you do interview, she's have an excuse. You were you were talking about in a Brazilian scrum uh, about your your contract with with the UFC. You mentioned a championship clause. Uh, uh, extending your your contract for a year is that the, the case now? Your, your your contract was about to expire in, in October. Is not is not the case anymore? No, because the contract finished in October. But because I got hold the belt, I have the clause I have to keep you uh, one year. But I want to keep fighting this one year, and for sure this is gonna happen. For sure we're gonna sit down and you know fix it and then make new contract and do something like this. But you know I I'm happy and. I will hopefully fight soon and fix everything soon. Right now you don't have any fights in your deal, but you have a one-year deal with UFC. I have a one-year deal, yes. But no problem if I sign a um, contract every fight, for me it's okay too. Why does it take so long? Are you waiting for your next fight and to know who you're fighting, uh, how much money you, 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 you can get? You know, my last contract, I w my la next fight I already have the contract. Like, you know, it doesn't does matter much about money, but if I can sign every fight, you know, I can do that, but I have one year, you know, we have one year for, 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 for do that. Um, last thing, I just wanted to touch on something that you talked about earlier. After you won, you had a very, very symbolic moment where Joe Rogan, who had said uh, things about you in the past, um, was there interviewing you, and then you had Dana White putting the belt around your waist. Symbolically, how big was that moment for you, considering everything that you, you kind of have to hear and just get over mentally in the past? Was that um, a vindicating moment for you? Uh, do you know, I, w I was always thinking, say, man, Joe Rogan gonna interview me, I'm gonna make, do some ironic play for him, you know, make all the ideas before the fight. And after the fight, like, it's a my moment, you know, I think it's the big deal what's happened with us. I cannot need to be his friend. He do his job to interview me, and if he like, go read you and speak whatever he want, and okay. And then I think then interview me after fight and see I'm the world champ. And then when she put the title belt to my wrist, I think this is me a lot. I think this is, don't did say anything, you know, just the, 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 what's happened in the moment, make them think about and, you know, be quiet and reflect about. Today is, is the anniversary of your fights with Gina Carano. How big was that moment for you? You know, my first belt, I think my first belt and it's, you know, an amazing fight, a great opportunity to fight in the big event like Strike Force. And Scott Kirk, really nice, bo you know, nice boss with me. And they, I really feel home there. And I defense a lot of times too there. I think it's amazing. I think the first, ever, people don't know, but the first main event to Women's MMA, it's the first title belt. It's uh, me against Gina. And then it's the biggest history in f today. You, you you fought already three times in the UFC. Does any of these fights in the UFC felt as big as that one? 
Uh, I think the, for me, I think in Curitiba it means a lot on, more. But the last fight, of course, is the biggest because it's fight for the belt and the, my division. But in Curitiba, because all my fans there, and then I think people went there. I think the fans there, or the people work of CC, that uh, how it's beautiful. Curitiba people love MMA. I think have a lot of a lot of fighters from there, and then I think I think that means time, you know. But uh, in my heart, I like Curitiba, I like this event. But you know, it's special. My last fight because I get the title in my we won. You get in my division. Jim was the biggest star in women's MMA. Uh, and you'd be hurt in one round. Do you think that the way that that, that fight went down and how did it, uh, what that the fight re re represented, uh, is one of the reasons why Ronda Rousey never agreed to fight with you? Uh, no, she okay. She don't want to fight me because she maybe don't want to lose. Like don't want to lose the fight. Don't want to lose the fight. But this happened with Holly and then Amanda. Maybe if she fight me, she's gonna lose anyways. But it's gonna be the biggest fight ever, and all the fans will be go crazy. And but no, I think it's a, I think it doesn't matter. You know, I, I don't like it when I fight the girls and the girls stop fighting. Like I tell her, maybe I have to fight. Okay, if I fight cyber, I fight anybody. You know, I think it just for encourage more the girls. And yeah, I think it's the biggest fight with me in Gina.